Hello, my name is Tyler, and today we're gonna go over cut calibration on the Roland VG2. If your cutter isn't cutting right, or if you're just setting your printer up for the first time, this is something you wanna go through to make sure that your vinyl will cut properly and you won't have to spend hours weeding one single project. So we'll go ahead and do that now. To get to the cut configuration menu, we're gonna go into function, down to cut configuration, and then press over. The first one is test cut. This is where it's gonna make a sample cut. It's gonna do a circle with a square out of it. We'll show that later in the video. The next one is force. This is where you're gonna to go to edit how many grams of force you use in this. 75 was perfect for the vinyl that we just cut, but if you wanted to edit it, you could just press up and down and then enter and it would change it there. I'm gonna go ahead and set it back to 75 that worked for us. The next option is speed. This is just left and right speed. If you wanna edit how fast you will cut, you're gonna to need to edit the speed and the up speed. These numbers need to match, otherwise you're gonna have issues with your cut. So if you wanna cut it faster, make sure you edit both of those. The last option is offset. This is set by your blade. It's not something you're gonna to need to change. It just depends on which blade you have in your printer. So you shouldn't need to mess with that. And that's all the options. So. We'll go ahead and show you the test cut samples now. We have three different cuts here. So we have this one, which clearly was too much pressure as you can see why it cut all the way through. The other way you'll be able to tell is if you can actually see the cut lines that are on the back of this. So if we flip this one over here, You'll be able to see cuts through the back of your backer. You'll know that that's too much force. This next one is probably one that's close to the right amount of force. If we peel this off here, it should come off without the square or mostly without the square at that point. You'll know that it's pretty good at that point if you can separate it from the square and all of your angles are nice and square on the cut. The last one on the right is one that's really hard to see because it's such a light cut. But if I try and pick this up here, you can see we did cut it a little bit. The problem will be that we won't be able to separate it from the square. So when we try and peel this off, the square won't come apart easily from the other side, which is just gonna make weeding a nightmare. So you pretty much are just gonna play with force up and down. On this one, this was 100 force, this was 75, this one was 50. 75 obviously is the closest we're gonna get 100 too much. 50 too low. So you'll just play with the force up and down. There's also a guide from Roland that will give you a good estimate on a place you can start at to know which force you should use. And that's all you need to know for cut calibration on the Roland VG2. I would do this anytime you switch out what vinyl you're using so that you can get good clean cuts and make it easy to weed for yourself. If you found this helpful, make sure to check out our other videos and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you think we should do next. And if you like any of the equipment or any of the vinyl you see in this video, you can check it out at wensco.com. Thanks for watching.